<laughs> it is a mod that I downloaded that actually brings two different areas to the game. I've been trying to get into this mod or get this mod started for a bit now trying several different things even following the instructions or the spoilers which I don't think are really spoilers uh, on the, the the mod website or well, on the Nexus <sighs> um, followed the instructions the way they were supposed to be but I never no, I never got the letter in the mail and even after doing all of that, um, you're supposed to be able to go to the wizard's tower and use one of the warp sections, one of the, one of the warps in that area to be able to get to the ro rotten constellation. Um, but that never worked. So I'm hoping now that I've gotten all of my... I see my little let's see where's my my cursor thing okay all of my well what are they what 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 what, what are those the uh <laughs> the background music is just a touch loud it's all the way down in in the game here i'll try i'll see what happens Yeah, because, yeah, see, the music volume is all the way down. Maybe if I turn the sound down all the way. It's not overwhelming. Okay. All right. Oh, shoot. My time is rolling. Okay, so this is me. These are all of the things that I have accomplished. Farming, mining, foraging, fishing, and combat. I went through and I maxed out every single one. And I didn't just use a cheat to do this either. I actually went through and did this. Um, of course, I did cheat a little bit by freezing time, but I still went and did it all. <laughs> um, So I, I've been doing a step-by-step -step thing to see if I can actually get it to work. So I have befriended maxed hearts with all the villagers that I cannot romance. And I've been slowly working, if you are not cheating, you're not trying. <laughs> Fair. Fair. Um... So what I'm trying, what I'm doing is I'm kind of, you know how when something isn't working and you're not quite sure what it is and you take one thing away at a time to see if that is the thing that's broken? Well, that's kind of what I'm doing here. So now that, now that I've befriended the villagers that I can't romance, and have started ro and have started befriending the ones that I can, and I've maxed out all of my yes, <laughs> basic troubleshooting. Um, now that I've maxed out all of my stats. I'm gonna see if I can actually get the mod to kick off because it looks like it's a lot of fun. You're supposed to be able to save. A save another realm essentially from dying out so we'll see how it works because if it doesn't work this time I'm quitting Stardew Valley today and not permanently just for today and I'm gonna play something else because <laughs> it's gonna be frustrating okay so let's do this what do I have in my bag? Okay, I got really nothing. See, all the people that I cannot romance, I have been maxed out in friendship. Let's see. Uh, 
I don't know what this is unless it's no because that's over here I don't know these ones over here um oh she's here today nice okay well on our way over to the forest then we'll stop in and hey MD how are you We're trying a new mod. <laughs> We're going to try to get the mod to play anyway. <laughs> okay. But first, I have to go through. First, I have to go through and water everything. Did you fall asleep on me last night? Is that why you stopped talking? knackered oh <laughs> been a long a long day for you i found this recipe in a magazine ew okay um let's see i need watering can farm cave there we go there's the doggy Okay, so we're going to go through, I'm going to do this really, really fast and water everything and do the animals, I'll we'll get our animals to like us a little bit. What we're going to try to do is we're going to try and we're going to do step by step kind of thing. You can have them. Thank you. Uh, step by step thing. So we're Again, like Farmer Carlos said, we're, we're, we're basic troubleshooting. <laughs> uh, so we're going to see, we're in the spring, we're near the end of spring. So we're going to see if, if this doesn't work, if a different time period will actually, you know, like summer or fall or winter will, will make the, the, the mod happen. If it doesn't work, you know, maybe we'll pop into the second or maybe third year. And uh, see if uh, uh, I went pit and I was boiling hot and soaked in sweat. So I got changed and went out again. Got soaked through with rain. Oh, no. Ah, she's got milk ready. Oh, they've got milk ready. Nice. Okay, piggies. Oh, I need to put some grass in here for them to eat. Okay, so we're going to do this really fast because I don't want to run out of time today to be, try to be able to do this. So we're going to freeze time everywhere. And then we're going to put in some grass for them and, and get the, the milk. It was so heavy that even my brolly didn't protect me I understand I know exactly I know exactly what you're going through because I've had moments out here we and it's happened more than once you would think that I would learn by now but you know hey um, we we on our on our farm sometimes things have to be done even in the midst of a downpour and the rain won't be you, there, this, the clouds will be nowhere in sight and you will think it's a sunny day and you have plenty of time to do things and you're out and you're taking care of the the stuff that you want to take care of and then yes torrential downpours then all of a sudden you're looking up, where'd the sun go? And then in the next few minutes, there's just so much rain pouring down that by the time that you run into the house, you are completely soaked through to the skin, every inch of you. You got water pooling in your boots. Ah, first time chat. Hi, how are you? DC Zoe. We'll just call you Zoe from now on. 
how are you today? We're talking about getting soaked through in downpours. <laughs> So it's like when you when when you're working on a farm, it's just kind of uh, it's zo like Joe. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. I'm in the states, <laughs> so was Z O E is Zoe. So I apologize. Zo like Joe. I like that. Okay, Zo. <laughs> But yeah, it, and it's supposed to be like that. That's why I was out. I'm late with streaming today. Normally, I stream fairly early on um, on Saturdays, but because it's supposed to be thunderstorms and lightning this afternoon, I can deal with thunder and I can deal with rain. I can't deal with lightning, um, and it probably has something to do with the fact that I was electrocuted as a kid. But um, It's okay, no worries. Oh, good. Phew. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it's we were out and we were doing stuff with the with the animals today, and just because I didn't want to be out in a lightning storm later this evening, so yeah, that's why I'm a little late today. Out of milking range. <laughs> Got to take care of the animals before I can get started on this mod. Being Floridian lightning wild here. Yes. I lived in Florida for a bit. I've been electrocuted 20 times. Oi. I actually have scars on me from being electrocuted. It was not fun. I'll pop these up since I don't need them anymore. Um. Let's see, we'll pop these in here. We need the porridge. I'm replacing the Z with other letters and pronouncing your name like Joe. Makes perfect logic, lol. <laughs> okay, so I need, oh, I, why did I close that? I needed the seeds. Seeds. There we go. Okay. Pop some of these around. Make the animals happy. I know. I'm a farmer in real life and I play a farming Sims game. Isn't that just too funny? Of course, on here, things can get done and taken care of in a relatively less amount of time than it does in real life. Just gonna put some of this out here so they have something else to eat. And then they'll like me better faster. <laughs> Hopefully those 20 times were all different circumstances. Otherwise you're making the same mistake more than once, lol. Well, I can say I've been zapped before. And, um... One of the things that you don't realize, too, is when you're outside and there's lightning, it actually will travel. And because we were working on a fence one time when we first moved in, because we were trying to, we had chickens and we started having a fox problem. So we wanted to make sure that they were safe. Yeah, lots of ways. <laughs> and then across the street, lightning struck. But we were, my daughter and I were holding on to the the fence, and we were both electrocuted. She was a bit more shocked for some reason than I was. Um, but that was when we were like, okay, we're not doing this. We're 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 going in. Um, okay, so now that we're done with that, we need to go to the forest first. Last time I was playing with a fuse in a plugged in eight track player. Oh, yeah. 
Okay, so do you guys want to hear my electrocuted story? I chucked it across the room. <laughs> oh no. You guys so mad at it, you threw it, huh? <laughs> no, don't drink the maple syrup. Yeah, you want to hear my electrocution story? I'm surprised I am not dead, to be very honest with you. And this is a, this is just not from the times that, you know, I've accidentally like sh zapped myself, you know, touching stuff that I probably shouldn't have been touching. <laughs> um, I don't think I was actually struck, but I've had lightning strike close enough to me that everything went white. I couldn't hear, felt the boom, all the air expelled from my lungs, etc. Too close for comfort. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, I, I get you. Lightning is not something that you want to play with. That's part of the reason why we did chores early today. Because <laughs> normally we wait closer towards, you know, you know, afternoon, before dinner kind of thing. Um, but I didn't want to be out because there's a nine, there's a 97% chance of thunder and lightning today. And I just, sorry, don't want to do it. I've intentionally grabbed an electric fence to test it. Well, that's your own fault. <laughs> you don't want to test those. <laughs> and contrary to popular belief, if you pee on an electric fence, it doesn't actually shock you. My son tested that one out. So, yeah. What about your story, May? Ah, okay. Well, let's see. I was, um, I was about eight years old and we, my mother had sent me upstairs to get her heating pad because she slept with a heating pad for whatever reason. Um, and me being eight years old, you know how sometimes with plugs, when you can when you connect them to an extension cord if it's a, a skewed just slightly it's kind of hard to pull out well me being a stupid eight-year-old because I couldn't pull it out I decided I was gonna use my teeth I have scars actually on the inside of my mouth and I have a scar here uh, on my lip from where I had my teeth and my lips had actually made contact with the wire or the metal that was bringing the electricity through. So yeah, I am. I, I was kind of stupid as an eight-year-old. I didn't think just unplug it from the wall. I just like, well, she only wanted the heating pad, so. <laughs> So that's me. That sounds horrifying. Yeah. I, I, the same as, the same as Carlos, everything went white. Everything was white. I could not see for nearly two hours. Um, I couldn't feel my face, but they didn't take me to the hospital. I was thrown on the couch, screamed at because I was stupid, and I got an ice pack smashed on my face. <laughs> Just like, okay, I deserve it, I guess. I was eight. <laughs> spit. Possibly your spit is a good conductor. Ah. Hi, Willa, have you come to sample the treats of the Grotto Empire too? That's right. I don't know if you guys knew this, but um, yesterday playing, we wound up getting Mr. Ginger's voice. So, yeah, that that's my main 
um, electrocuted story. I've been zapped, you know, but nothing anywhere near what that what what happened to me with that. So, <laughs> but yeah, it it yeah, with Farmer Carlos's everything got white, not being able to hear. Yeah, I, and the funny part is, is I was eight years old, and I still remember all of it. I remember trying to walk downstairs without actually falling downstairs because I couldn't feel anything. I couldn't feel my body. My stepfather yelled at me, you're lucky it didn't stop your heart. <laughs> 